It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 26th of November. I'm Michael Groff. The weather in the short term looks great. Temperatures right around average, periods of clouds from time to time. But then by later in the week and next weekend, we have a major change in the overall long wave weather pattern. One that will favor unsettled conditions and increasing moisture across the area with temperatures trending down. Let's talk about it as we take a look at the almanac from yesterday. 72 degrees for the high in the valley, 49 the morning low. And outside right now, here at 7.20 a.m., partly cloudy skies in the valley. We begin this day at 50 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 21, humidity 32%. The winds are calm and the barometer is steady. Temperatures around the area this morning, 39, the cool spot at Buckeye. Otherwise, it's in the mid-40s to low 50s for most of us. Around the nation, very cold temperatures up north. We've got single digits, even some below zero values. Northern Plains, parts of Canada with 30s and 40s even down into the southeast U.S. You see in the upper air look this morning, we've got that major upper low that has brought all the wintry conditions and the blizzard-like conditions to the Midwest, dragging a cold front through the southeast U.S. Out here in the southwest, we've been protected by high pressure, and that will continue at least through the middle part of the week. The watch warning maps some dense fog advisories, parts of South Florida, and still winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories for the Midwest, the Great Lakes, and the Northeast. Out here in the Southwest, we're fairly clear right now. Convective outlook for today, a marginal risk of severe storms, parts of the Florida Peninsula, as that front continues to move on through a little thunder down there, but overall, no widespread severe weather. And rainfall for the next seven days, around one-tenth to one-quarter of an inch here in the valley. Heavier totals across northern Arizona. These numbers likely to get adjusted upward as we see a pretty unsettled pattern coming on in. We'll talk about that as we get into the details of it now, looking at the models. Here we go to the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. This is the upper look at about 18,000 feet in the atmosphere. We've got a weak little wave south of the state, but high pressure is in control. So overall down at the surface today, partly sunny this morning, decreasing clouds later this afternoon. High temperatures today, low to mid 70s. Tonight, partly cloudy, lows mid 40s to low 50s. And then tomorrow, sunny skies and we'll have high temperatures again, low to mid 70s. Mostly sunny uh, to start the day on Wednesday. We'll see some clouds increase late in the day. Highs again, low to mid 70s. And then on Thursday, here comes our weather system. A cold front approaches the state. We'll see some scattered showers across northern Arizona by late in the day. Maybe a few showers in here. We'll pencil in a 40% chance of rain for Thursday and Thursday night in the valley. Highs upper 60s and low 70s. And then as that front passes by, cooler air comes in Friday. Highs getting into the low 60s with just a small chance of some lingering showers in the morning. Saturday, a cool day to start meteorological winter. Partly cloudy skies. We're kind of between systems here, and high temperatures should be, again, low to possibly middle 60s. And then check it out. Sunday, here comes another weather system. This one a little bit more potent, a bit further south, better dynamics and moisture in place. So a decent chance of some rain in here. High temperatures, uh, upper 50s and low 60s. It's going to be a cool system. So temperatures obviously well below average with this. And then let's go to a week from today. This is Monday, the 3rd of December. Our cold system swings on out into the plain states, cool air in its wake, highs again below average, likely just struggling to make the 60 degree mark. Here's Tuesday the 4th. Our next system is on its way in, westerly flow, clouds on the increase, temperatures low to mid 60s. And then this is the end of the forecast period, Wednesday the 5th of December. And if this verifies a very cold system headed our way, fairly potent surface low over Southern California, 992 millibars. So a good chance of rain could be widespread, maybe even heavy rain and a few thunderstorms with this feature. We'll have to watch this very carefully. Obviously, still 10 days out. A lot is likely to change between now and then. But the idea of a much more unsettled and cool weather pattern coming in here starting late this week and really getting into gear by the weekend and much of next week to kick off December. Check the temperatures through the period coming off of the GFS Ensemble, and highs are trending down. We see those highs only in the 60s, maybe just barely making it to 60, and lows in the 40s. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. And if you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notification. Plus, your comments, questions, suggestions, all your feedback, always encouraged. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe out there. Have yourselves a fantastic Monday, 
And here is your forecast. 